So in Google Drive, uh, there are a few ways you can change the appearance and the layout of your drive. Uh, the most straightforward way probably is just to go up to list view here. Uh, you can see this icon will now change over and it's going to show me grid view. So um, it's currently set to list view. And you can see here it's listed a bit like it perhaps does on your um, Windows desktop or laptop if you're familiar with that. It's got a list of we'll put folders first then files um, and you can see them by their owner modified and file size. So if that's more familiar to you uh, and again if you press the grid view button now it'll take me back to the um, original default grid view um, and that perhaps looks more um, modern perhaps uh, or if you're familiar with um, perhaps a a device like an iPad um, and seeing um, just an automatic preview of all your files and content um, it will look more familiar to you that way. So you can modify um, between list view and grid view whichever suits you. If you're considering the way that your Google Drive looks so that it's easier to find things it's always worth remembering you've also got the search and drive option at the top if I'm looking for my Romans uh, template I can open that up um, really simply and quickly um, by searching for it. You can also search by a learner's name and you can see their copy um, of that file also. So that makes it easier to find things. Um, similar to using um, other platforms and devices it's always going to be easier to find things if you sort it into folders um, and you can do that and you can do that in um, a couple of different ways as well. Um, if I've got a file, let's take this slippery tail um, slides, I can simply drag it and you see I can't put it into this folder with the wee person on it because that's a shared folder someone else has given me access to but I can drag it into any other folder that I own. So I can grab a file and I can pop it into a folder. So it's really easy um, to sort and organise um, your files, so you don't have this big long list of files, those should all be uh, or could all be put into a folder to make them a bit easier to find. I can also right click or again using two fingers tap the touchpad on my Chromebook and you'll see here I've got a menu for each file. We'll look at some more of those options um, in other videos but for just now what I can do is I can either add it to my styled um, menu on the left so I can see my favourites, my most commonly used files or I can use move to and I can select um, the folder I'd like to share it to so I can put it in here. Is that definitely the folder I want to put it? Yes. So I can either drag things into the folder I want um, but if for example you want it to go to a specific place within one of these classes it might make more sense to open up the menu with a right click or a two finger tap on the trackpad, go to move to and then I can select classroom and I can pick the specific subfolder I would like it to go to. Let's go into digital school and it will now go there. So a few different ways of moving files into folders and as we say always recommended that you sort and order things probably like you do in your classroom into folders, much easier to find things when they're organised. And another option you have here is if I open up that menu on my folder again by right clicking or double tapping um, the trackpad, um, I can change some of the options around my folders here. So again I can add folders to start, so I've got my, um, my favourite folders and files will appear here. So if it's stuff that I'm using regularly, I can make use of start. But again, if I right click to open that menu, I can change the name as I said, and I can change the colour. So you may want to go red for literacy folders. Um, I'm going to have um, blue for my maths folders. Um, and I've got some um, signs, so I might make that green. So I can use colours to sort and organise. That may be something you want to do um, in terms of organising um, different subjects for your class or different groups of learners. You can have them. Um, or it just might look a bit nicer.